Being in an age of rapid travel and communication, we were almost unaware of the terms like social isolation and loneliness before this pandemic. Now, ironically, these terms are the norm. We are compelled to stay at home, which is the right thing in many aspects for those vulnerable. But tensions are rising high everywhere, so we need to make sure we're taking care of ourselves. Some of us are not as strong as others with isolation and loneliness. What's going on guys? Richard Rosa with The Personal Development Channel. Welcome to the community. In this episode, I'm gonna be talking about social isolation and loneliness. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And if at any point you like what you see, please give it a like. Let's get to it. Being a social animal, social connections are essential for our well-being. Support from friends and family are fundamental for a sane human existence. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, one in four Australians were lonely, but most of us have now experienced this when we can't meet people because of the fear of spreading the virus. How will we fulfill our social needs in times like these when we are in the middle of COVID-19? Although a lot of people seem to be going out, there's still a huge amount of people who are not, and it looks like it's picking up again now, most likely due to the fact that the governments don't really know their ass from their elbows, and are making some very confused and odd decisions. Along with an increasing number of casualties from the virus, other social, economic, psychosocial and political issues are emerging. And loneliness and social isolation are most certainly hovering around the top and are problems if we don't help ourselves. Isolation and loneliness are considered as a miserable and dark emotion in this era of social hangouts eateries, bars, movies, theatres, pubs and malls. Now, humankind has always known what to do next. However, in these times, a risk factor for many mental disorders like anxiety, um, disorders like chronic stress, depression, or even late life dementia is becoming alarming due to the uncertainty around us. The concept of boredom is also leaning towards anger and frustration in some people. It is because many of us respond differently to change. Some adapt quite quickly and others just take longer. Now while a few of us just do not accept change, we were satisfied with the pattern of life we were spending. And this change has transformed our feelings into anger and frustration. In a 2015 perspective on psychological science, uh, loneliness is linked to a 26% increased risk for premature death. Dr. Vivek Murthy, former Surgeon General of the United States, wrote that loneliness and weak social connections are associated with a reduction in lifespan similar to that caused by smoking 15 cigarettes a day. So what can we do to help ourselves and others? So the first thing we can do is we can keep a schedule. Even if you are isolated at home, try to keep a regular schedule as much as possible. While loneliness can feel like it will never end, trying to make these days feel as normal as possible will help you get through. Another thing you can do is do something meaningful. You know, another contributor to feelings of loneliness can be a loss of sense of meaning. If you're finding that you feel not just bored, but also as though you are losing your sense of self, then a loss of meaning might be affecting you. All of us want to feel like we belong and that our life has important, which is why incorporating meaningful activities into each day is important. Doing something meaningful each day, even only if it's for a short period, will give you a sense of purpose and identity. Only you know what will create meaning in your life, but things like signing up for an online course, something you've always wanted to learn or achieve, which can give you a bit of work each day, something for the brain and a sense of achievement, and signing up to being a volunteer for charities and foundations. But like I said, only you know what will create meaning in your life. And then you've got, you can connect and reconnect with friends and family. And this is the time where we can do this. Um, with our long lost friends and family. In this way, you will not only get rid of loneliness and negative emotions, but will also refresh some of the lovely memories that you made together. Staying in contact with loved ones can prevent you from the deteriorating effects of 
isolation and loneliness. Personally, I have enjoyed playing games and cooking and walking with my loved ones in this period. What have been your favourite things to do with your loved ones? Plan for the future. Now, while it might feel like this loneliness will last forever, there will come a time that you'll be back to use your routines. One way to feel less alone now is to make plans for the future, to do things that will help you to focus on in the future. For example, you could make a future list of all the things that you want to do. Plan a fun event for when you are out of isolation. Make a bucket list of the things to do in your lifetime. Make a goals list for some of the areas in your life. Planning for the future will help you see beyond all this chaos. Something that I've talked about in many um, previous episodes is practicing self-compassion. Most importantly, practicing self-compassion during this difficult time. If you find yourself saying things like, I shouldn't be feeling this way, or pushing away difficult emotions, this will only make your loneliness persist. So instead of resisting your feelings, instead find ways to be accepting of them as coming and going. Now this helps to take away the power and ease of your unhappiness. Remember that your feelings will change. If you are still struggling, try practicing guided meditation, uh, following a, some kind of YouTube video. I'll leave a link in the description. And also show compassion to others. It might seem counterintuitive, but if you're struggling yourself, sometimes offering help to others who are also feeling lonely can make you feel less lonely. You know, make a phone call, send a text message, comment on someone's social media posts, be supportive of others with encouragement. Okay, this next one is help the elderly. Now, adults that are 65 plus may be particularly susceptible to loneliness during this period. This group is most likely to self-isolate due to fear of infection, while also potentially having less support than most. If you have anyone in your family of an elderly age, reach out to them on a regular basis so they know that you're there and you're thinking of them. You could also sign up and volunteer to help the elderly via charities and initiatives. My last two points coming up, seek help if you need it. What is better than asking help from a professional? And if you think that your loneliness and socialization are causing distress, discuss your concerns with a professional coach or therapist. And if you're not prepared to consult a therapist, you can simply ask help from your trusted loved ones. And finally guys, remember loneliness is temporary. Even if you're feeling lonely now, that doesn't mean you'll always feel lonely. It is just a phase and a new challenge some of us are facing. You are the architect of your future. Okay, so challenge time then guys. I would like you to make a future list of all the things you want to do. Split them into segments like travel, um, things that you want to achieve, uh, family, financials this is going to help you see beyond that temporary loneliness share your challenge experience with us in the youtube comments or tag us on instagram using at rosa mindset that's it for today everyone hit that subscribe button and if you enjoyed the content give it a little like if you'd like to be notified of any of the episodes then hit that little notification bell if you'd like me to expand on anything you ever see then please comment below and finally, come and join our community on Instagram or Facebook. All the links are in the description below. This has been Richard Rosa. Peace out.